Hi, Hi loved, loved ones. ones. Okay, we practiced that really good, right? Bam! So today we are gonna be talking about physical touch as a love language. This is my personal second favorite. Oh yeah. So like my first one was quality time, second one is physical touch. So I'm particularly excited to give you some ideas in this department. So the first idea is actually to play with someone's hair or to play with their scalp, basically. There's a lot of feeling receptors here. Mm -hmm. I've been reading a book, uh, The Warrior Goddess Way, and I've also been watching a whole bunch of free YouTube documentaries. There's actually some very scientific research that has to do with like humans and physical touch. I yeah. mean, even when you look at animals, you see them being very communal. We can think about monkeys and cats. we can also think about cats. Yeah. Cats groom each other as a, as a kind of display of affection, but also a little bit of a display of dominance, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're just going to talk about the affection part. So I think that, you know, touching all of these receptors here, there's a lot of very sensitive blood vessels. Nerves. I think it's a lovely way to just like be in contact with someone. And when we're younger, we get our hair done by like our parents or siblings and then after that when you get older you don't really want anyone touching your hair which mm -hmm. I could understand but then the only person that ever does get to do it is like our barber or mm -hmm. our hairstylist yeah. and that's it but you know you should really bring it into the relationship a lot more in my opinion it's a very lovely display of affection it's also a good practice on touching on each other right I think when people are together for a long time they stop touching each other a lot right mm -hmm. because you're just going to work and you're doing the house stuff and yeah. you got the kids and you got the job and you got the weekend right responsibilities adulting so it's really important to get those feelers out there every now and then and also there's nothing like hair when it's first washed you got like all the good scents it's like, all <laughs> clean and stuff which leads to the second part of physical touch and that's touching the hands and touching the face these are like secondary parts that don't get touched a lot well actually you know what i would actually say people shake hands maybe not so much more post covid right but i feel like hand shaking and high-fiving and stuff is something people do but they're not really sensual with the hands right with those kind of receptors maybe like your partner works with their hands a lot maybe they're a mechanic or maybe they're, they they type a lot at work. Or they make jewelry, which is just very like tight Ooh, and small yeah, and yeah. painful. There's a, there's a lot of sense receptors in the hand. So that physical touch from hand to hand is really good. And even in the face, like I, I work a lot on a computer and I'm very focused like when I'm writing or I'm reading something and I do this a lot. And I touch him like this. And she touches, yeah, she touches I'm trying him. To tell and him. she's like, stop, stop. You're stressing yourself out. Relieve <laughs> that tension. So even taking your hands on someone's face and kind of rubbing them out, one thing, you're actually like doing some exfoliating or like moving some blood vessels around. Like a, lymph a lymphatic drain. Lymphatic drain. All that popular <laughs> stuff. Pop, pop up all the little lymphatic stuff that's really popular right now. But yeah, like it keeps you younger. It keeps you youthful. But then also it's just really nice. You know, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel relaxed. And another, I personally like when she does that to me. Yeah. Another thing about like specifically people working now um, is that people are always like this, which is why I have like 11s mm -hmm. here. Like I have like permanent wrinkles here. Um, if you're constantly doing it like this, you'll find that you have headaches a lot more. Oh, yeah. So being on that screen with that blue light and then, you know, going like this all day and being intense, like you honestly will give yourself a freaking headache. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I yeah. think that those massages are like really nice. Mm. And they feel so nice. <laughs> I, got, I, I gotta keep going back to it y'all because i got a beard so a lot of my face is occupied but those places that have vacancy it feels so nice to just like oh. <laughs> just a little bit of face yeah <laughs> yo 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 i just read this one so so this third one is like it's just very amazing so dimitri works from home and i also work from home so we're both like home all the time but sometimes when dimitri leaves mm -hmm. like if he has to go to a poetry festival or something like that then when he comes back, I'm so excited for him to come back. So I often greet him at the door. I think like greeting at the door is amazing. Uh, giving that person a hug, a kiss and embrace, putting some sparkling cider in their hand because they're back. Um, mm. Even if like that person has like a nine to six or yeah. something like that. I think greeting them at the door and touching them, like having a big, nice, lovely, yeah. um, romantic interaction is just like, Ace. And you know what? We could actually learn from like our pets too, like cats and dogs. They'll always <laughs> really be excited when you first get there. Within five minutes, they done, but they want to see you for that first five <laughs> minutes. And it feels really good to come home to our pets. So it should equally feel good to also come home to our partners. Yeah, right? not not stress, not overwhelmed, not yeah. mad, but like to greet them at the door, like you're happy that they even made it home. Do you yeah. understand? I think that that's a very lovely thing. And like one time I did this to you, it was like, um, I think it was like last year for Christmas. Remember, mm -hmm. like I made 
made you come into the room. I had all the lights set up. I had the Christmas music oh, on. Oh, yeah, well, we were The lights were apartment. down low. Yeah, yeah. And, and then you came in, and I made you, like, kind of blindfold. Uh -huh. And it's all about, like, presentation. I think all of these I, romantic gestures are about, like, how you present them. So yeah. this one is, like, one of my favorites. And you could do this with, like, like I said, gift giving or just when they come home. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, this next one. And you're going to see I'm going to be doing a bunch of throwbacks because at this point, Jesse and I are working on 13 years together, right? So we've been together a long time and we forget things sometimes. So it's great to bring back things that have happened before, like holding hands and having displays of affection while you're actually outside with the individual, right? You could do the holding hands. You could link arms while you're going to the grocery yeah. store, right? <laughs> you could hold onto their back a little bit, you know, kind of do that thing that people make fun of, like when you're at an amusement park and like the couples are like all holding each other, right? At the amusement park because you're waiting for such a long time. If we ever find that meme, we'll put it in there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I just think it's really cute to bring those things back of physical touch in public because there are times I have to remind myself you know, we're going to like Aldi's or we're going to ShopRite or something and we're just out, right? We were out and, and we just get out of the bustle. car, hustle and bustle. But it's nice to stop and like wait for your partner, hold that partner's hand and kind of walk on. Really, what I've been doing to cheat code myself, I've purposely been opening the door for you yeah, and noticed. trying to meet, meet you on the other side when we're getting out of the car. Mm -hmm. So I remember to also hold your hand. I'm mm -hmm. trying to make those things motor memory for myself because I don't know, I, I feel like that stuff really works. Yeah, it's so funny because yeah. I don't like waiting for people to open my door like people were like so classy back then uh -huh. you're just like waiting and then you're like a lady throw your legs out but i'm just like oh my god let me just get out like yeah. i'm gonna go to this store real quick i gotta tell you something <laughs> are, are you one of those people that when someone asks like for your hand to help you out of a seat like you're up halfway off your chair by the time someone even offers the help yeah that happens a lot that's me yeah <laughs> i'm not used to it yeah. <laughs> like ever in life oh, man. no one has ever done that for me oh you know? man 13 <laughs> years and she's not used to it that's actually a slight on me so i gotta do better <laughs> So this fifth one is going to be worded slightly wrong, but just like be mature, okay? So I'm going to call this one little touches, okay? But it's to touch someone anywhere, anywhere. Wait, anywhere and everywhere, wherever. Okay, so like the, those three things, right? So I, so let me explain. Give me a second because Dimitri's being shady. Um, so like this. Like a little, like a little chin pinch or like a little swipe just like throughout the day you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and i'm gonna tell you guys i actually read um i used to watch judge lynn toller which is from divorce court like like a while ago yeah. and i actually read two of her books and i'm gonna say that there's this thing of like a snowball effect of you doing small small things throughout the day and they really really have a huge impact by the end of the day mm -hmm. and i think that this example of like little touches is one of those things because another thing that you can just do is like the person is next to you and you're kind of just like massaging their arm lightly like this while you're like mm -hmm. watching TV. Just just soothing. You know, if you think about like a little newborn baby, mm -hmm. newborn, not not like newborn, newborn, but like babies, they soothe themselves. They they kind of, they rub, they're like constantly kind of like moving. And, and if they're on you, they're kind of like doing like yeah. this. And when you look at interrogations, if you look at interrogations with like, I got like a lot of oh, examples. The true time, the true crime stuff examples. is coming through. So, People actually self-soothe when they're lying and when they're in a very stressful situation by being mm -hmm. interrogated. So it is a thing that we still do. We still self-soothe as people. You don't have to be like sucking your thumb to self-soothe, but like you literally are like doing like little rubs because you have a lot of anxiety. No shade if you're sucking your thumb. But yeah, that's true. No shade. Little touches. Ow! <laughs> that's a hard touch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's it. Those are the five different things we have on this topic about touch. Jump back into it. Touch. Go on and let it touch. 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 Do, do. We known each other for a while. Okay, so after that little dance break, this video <laughs> is finished. And don't forget that we're going to have other videos like this coming up very soon. I think we have one more. One right? more. Yeah. We have one more that to complete all of the love languages. But we're finally done. Uh, yeah. This is what everything we have to say about physical touch. Yeah. If you have anything to contribute down below, then please do. Awesome. And also I want to say thank you to my patrons for yes, supporting me. Yes, thank you patrons. So, um, and thank you all of you guys for being Komuchamon. Bye.